What's going on, people? This is Tashira Rasay for Computer Music Academy, and this is an Ableton Producer Quick Tip. What I'm going to show you today is how to layer sounds. This will give you bigger, bolder, more dynamic, and more experimental sounds. I'm going to be using a couple of Arteria products. So first we have the CS80V. Next we have the Mini V. And last we have the Jupiter 8V. Now there's a couple different ways we can go about this. One, we can arm all of the tracks. We can do that by holding control or command and arming all of the tracks that we want to use, then playing. That works. We can also write a sequence and copy it over to the next track. And now I'm going to click the clip to highlight it, hold down control or command and drag over to the next and then over to the next again. Now we have this. But in my opinion, there's an easier way that gives you a lot more control and that's using instrument racks. So I'm going to drag an empty instrument rack to its own track and let me uh, open up the chain here. Now I'm going to hold command or control and drag copies of these plugins into the instrument rack as one. And two. And three. Now, and see, I like the instrument rack a little bit better simply because you have full control over the volume, the panning, mute, solo. You can actually do macros and map different things. You have the key, velocity chaining you have all of this control but my absolute favorite feature is this right here the ability to take effects and affect the entire instrument rack check this out yeah Let's see here. Let's try a uh, filter delay. Yeah. Hopefully you see how silly this can get very, very quickly. Hopefully you enjoyed it and found it informative. And if you did, please like and share the video. And if you would like to see more stuff like this, check out Ableton Producer at ComputerMusicAcademy.com. See you next time.